I guess first and foremost, I really consider myself an artist, and I'm a mother, an advocate, I teach. You know, I'm, I always consider myself a student, a student of life. Um, and I started creating art when I was really young, uh, probably like around eight or ten. To me, art is just one of the, the most intricate and fulfilling ways to express your joy of life. And these are what I, the series called Hybridity, Race, and Womanhood. And I'm dealing with just those three things. It was just a very interesting experience because my first language was Spanish. I remember being teased at, in like elementary school because I was speaking Spanish and I, you know, I looked black or what they would consider black. Um, you know, and then through, high, through elementary, it was like I talked white. Because, you know, the St. Thomas, they're the British Virgin Islands, so that's how my mother talks. Um, so it was this big sh it was this big pull and push of how, how do you define yourself? And once you define yourself, do people accept you based on that definition? And, and, you know, and then they're trying to mold you into their definition, fit you in this box. So I've always had this need to put out stuff that talks about um, identity and being a woman. Um, there's a couple of deities with, that have, Indian deities, that have multiple heads and multiple arms and limbs. And I know that, you know, I as a woman, and I know the other folks as a woman, as women, um, feel like you're being pulled in all these different directions and you've got all you have to have on all these different hats to fit these roles or um, these expectations of you and if you look at them they've got lines or bars uh, and so it talks about for me it talks about what I consider uh, or phases or um, phases of, of restraint or confinement of how women are expected to be or kind of where we're locked into. The energy that we put forth is what's in between. And specifically in this one because it, there's light, there's color in between the bars because of how we work through it. The other thing is our windows because, you know, windows about the perception of, it's about your perception of self, your view of yourself, um, you know, the, the, the subconscious, the dialogue that happens between you, you yourself, basically. And then there's always the image, the, the view of people looking in. I think all women go through um, gender inequalities. I don't think it's just one specific race, although I do think it's, it's different, varied levels depending on the race, of course. Uh, but I think it's an issue that all women go through. And in, in order to kind of, hopefully one day that won't be as much of an issue as it is now, but I think in order to do something about it, we have to look at it overall through, uh, through overall in terms of women in general, not just one specific um, race. Okay, this piece, it started out with me, um, this need to collect things that, um, that I enjoyed seeing, whether it be a bra strap. Then also with panties, you know, Things that were after a certain use, the initial use was not, could not be used anymore. It couldn't be used in that, func in that function anymore. These pieces, they, they were so time consuming. Each one took about like almost two months to do. And I'm talking like non, you know, coming in here. I used, it used to be glued to that table back there with Diamania. And at first people were like, what the hell is she doing? And, they, 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 and I could see they're on their faces and I'm like, it's okay, I don't need to, you know. And I would just keep on until you would eventually see, oh, okay, so there is a pattern, there is a, a concept here. I do the sewing first. So 
these parts here are parts of cl either clothing or bra straps. Um, some of the, the belt, actually I don't think this is a belt buckle, this is a purse strap. And so most of those are um, sewn first. And then some of them are actually glued and they came from both directions. So the, one of the first layers was just the materials, meaning the uh, cloth material. And then I went back into it with paper. So then you would see more lines coming in towards that way. And uh, then after that, uh, the next part of it is the, um, the glass. So using complementary colors or colors that's good, that are going to make the base layer pop. So these are the glass that you, you come back and put in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay.